if you like Kate Mara, you should definitely watch our picks for her best movies. You have a camera on your phone. Pictures. Number 10. I'm a student of your work. An admirer, really. Transcendence is a science fiction thriller film directed by Wally Feister. This dark and twisted sci-fi tale is defined by a never-ending obsession to become infinite. Dr. Will Caster is the world's leading authority on artificial intelligence, and his one main goal is to create a sentient machine within himself. Upon succeeding, his quest for power begins, and his loved ones are forced to face the fact that he might be unstoppable. We know what you're building. You don't get it, do you? She connects to the internet, the first thing it'll do is copy itself onto every single network computer in the world, and then there is no taking it down. Where is she? Number 9 My Days of Mercy, directed by Tali Shalom Ezer Enlightened by its leading cast's breathtaking chemistry, My Days of Mercy will surprise fans of same-sex romance just as much as fans of political drama and courtroom thrills. When the daughter of a man on death row falls in love with a woman on the opposing side of her family's case, she must decide which side she is on. I gotta get back. If I stay in this den of inequity too long, the good lord's likely to strike me down. Come on, that's not that bad, is it? No. Number eight. You're perfect. Who'd ever suspect a wee lass like you? Is that what you think of me? No, I don't know you. No, you don't, do you? Stone of Destiny is a historical adventure comedy film written and directed by Charles Martin Smith. This adventure might as well be called a catastrophe, since the foolish plan at its center is destined to go terribly wrong, but they are going to do it anyway. When Scotland fails to establish a parliament once again, a group of stubborn patriots decides to steal back an object of national pride, which is under the watchful eye of the English. Excuse me, it's a K, isn't it? That might be. Ian Hamilton. I know. Nice to meet you. You dancing? You asking? Oh, yeah, I might be. Number seven. You're good. <laughs> wow, I must be a really good actress. Because I fucking hate my job. Happy Thank You More Please is a comedy drama film written and directed by Josh Radner. While watching the chronicles of young New Yorkers completely different from one another, but all sharing the same fate of trying to subvert the meaninglessness of life, we witness the price of passion and aspiration. No matter if a novelist, singer, or middle-class worker, personal relationships and careers are always difficult. Trying to fit both under one heat is even worse. Sing. Songs? Yeah, songs. Cabaret. Oh. What do you do? I write. Words? Yeah, words. <laughs> Number six. Hi. Hi. And you are? Marshall. Irish. Pleased like to it. meet you, Tony. I'm on the wheel. You mind? Where are you from? Bedford. Iron Man 2 is a superhero film directed by John Favreau. The Playboy's self-made superhero is back in his second adventure. Following the events of the first in the franchise, the world now knows Iron Man's true identity. Furthermore, it doesn't take long for an enemy of the past to catch up and reveal himself. Now, Tony must decide between being the man he always wanted to be and the man he must become. You are hereby ordered to appear before the Senate Armed Services Committee tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Can I see a badge? He wants yeah. to see the badge. He likes the badge. You still like it? Yep. Number five. I'm gonna tell him about California, right? Are you kidding? After a loss, we were in a good mood. Yeah. We Are Marshall is a 2006 historical drama biopic film directed by McGee. When a plane crash claims the lives of 37 members of the Marshall University football team and some of its fans, the team's new coach, Jack Lengill, and his surviving players try to keep the football program alive. But building a team from scratch is a daunting exercise requiring many in the community to examine their values. You don't have to come back to work right away. Take some time for yourself. Job of the week to get back. One thing I don't need is more time for myself. I just want things to get back to normal. Number four. Okay, this is a good detection dog. There is nothing wrong with him. So it must be you. Megan Levy is a biographical drama film directed by Gabriella Coperthwaite. This true war story is as moving as it is sensitive, following a disciplined young female soldier who is supposed to clean up a messy unit during the Iraq War. She soon finds a companion in an aggressive military German shepherd. 
Together, they complete many missions and save dozens of lives until a fateful event puts both their lives in jeopardy. If you're not confident, then he's not confident. I could train the heck out of you, Levy, but I can't teach you how to bond, okay? Okay. Number three. Shooter is a 2007 action thriller film directed by Antoine Fuqua. Ex-Marine sniper Swagger has grown disillusioned with the U.S. military system, but is asked to collaborate one more time to find a killer trying to assassinate the president. But what he couldn't know, he becomes part of a worldwide conspiracy after he is betrayed and declared enemy of the state. A bloody and thrilling manhunt begins. I'm sorry to bother you, ma'am. I know who you are. You're Bob Lee. Swagger. Donnie's old partner. Oh, I didn't shoot the president. I oh, know. Number two. There's another guy. He's fine. Come on! 127 Hours is a 2010 biographical survival drama film. Being alone in nature, enjoying the wilderness of caves and deserts is all fun and games, until it goes horribly wrong. When a mountain climber gets stuck between rocks, trapped in an isolated canyon in the middle of nowhere, a truly horrifying fight for survival begins. The enemy being time. But how far can a human being go for his survival? How strong are our primal instincts? Trust you, I'll kill you, Aaron Ralston! Oh, please. You love this. <sighs> 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 Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. You're a thug. Yeah, that's right. Your wife's a thug. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Come on. I love you. Yeah, say it to my face. I love you. You better. There's this place in, in Vancouver on a lake, this cottage. It's got this long wooden dock that you can go out and sit on. Surrounded by the mountains, and it's quiet. No one else is around. Even if you did, do you really think I would tell you? I've kept bigger secrets. Hmm. I'll take that as a yes. You're brilliant, Mary Jo, and you're available. Number one. Be careful out there in space. The Martian is a 2015 science fiction film directed by Ridley Scott. In 2035, the intrepid crew of the Ares III expedition safely lands on Mars. However, when a storm hits, Mark is presumed dead, and the team travels back to Earth without him. Alone and stranded on an alien planet, Mark must come up with a solution to live with the limited supplies. Will the brave Martian return home? Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.